Hello everyone and welcome back to Borealis Zoo. Today we are finally adding another animal. As in the previous episode we uh, we added the ice rink that we uh, we worked hard on. It was difficult to uh, to reproduce the ice but we did it. I think we did a great job and uh, together with you guys live on stream we uh, made something that we were really proud of. And uh, today we are going to implement another idea uh, from our viewers. So I think in one of the first videos of uh, the new Borealis Zoo, someone told me, yeah, maybe you can add the wolves and pretend they are slay dogs. So I did some uh, research on that. And um, yeah, I, I found some reference images on how they would normally keep these animals. And basically they will always be outside and they will have these uh, little shelter spaces and one for each dog, basically, something like that. No, don't know how to... <laughs> How to explain it but that's what we are going for today so what i'm doing is uh first i will create a fence i'm pretending they are just normal dogs so please keep in mind that the fence i know it's quite a bit or quite low for just um yeah some regular wolves and uh, people can stick their hands through but we have to pretend they are just dogs and they don't uh yeah they won't eat your hands when you stick your hand through the fence um so yeah what i'm doing right here i'm creating the building where you can buy your tickets uh, to um, for the sleigh ride, basically. Please keep in mind, in the end of the episode, there won't be any sleighs in yet. That's something that I want to do uh, probably in like a final episode or maybe a live stream. I will have to see because there are only two episodes left after this one. So um, I have to uh, plan it right. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, we will miss out on some things. So probably it will be a live stream, by the way. I'm just thinking uh, then we can add two more animals. And then uh, we will do a live stream with some prop building. With some finishing up. With lighting finishing up. Because there are quite a few open spaces that we didn't really decorate yet. So I think that's quite a bit of a, a job left. So we, uh, yeah, we will do that live on stream. So um, as I told you, normally these animals would just yeah stay outside. But I think... Uh, they deserve some indoor shelter as well. There's another reference picture I found that yeah, the uh, the sleigh dogs would actually have a shelter like this. So they will have a two-story shelter. Again, normally they will have like a separate cage for each one of them. But that wouldn't work in the game. So I thought it would... Uh, I would make it like this so the animals can actually use it. So they can use this as a shelter space. I'm not really sure if they can reach the top part. I didn't really check. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah, really simple structure over here. Just some concrete. And you can see I started off with the, um, the Australia wood pieces. But when you did take a look at the beginning at the cinematics. Uh, you would have seen that I completely removed that. And uh, changed the, the type of building. I started off with the Australia pieces because I, I like the structure. But somehow it doesn't work in this region. If you create like a costume wall out of it. It, uh, it looked weird from like far away. So that's why I decided to uh, to change it. So uh, the roof again will be the uh, the Arctic pieces, and I'm trying to uh, create some different style of uh, roof shapes. I'm really experimenting with that, all in yeah, you know uh, preparation of starting a new sandbox zoo. I just want to uh, get a little bit more experience with different kind of roof. Try to make it look interesting, and I think we really did a great job. Uh, on that I think we need to change the entrance building a little bit after this building because we created some nice um, wooden trims and structures that would make the entrance building look a little bit more interesting than it is right now uh, this is actually I, I think this is my favorite building so far in this uh, in this zoo so I'm showing you guys what I do with the Australia pieces but uh, I think probably after a few minutes I will completely remove it and we'll uh, replace it by uh, the normal wooden planks that we already used um, please keep in mind this was also recorded before the aquatic DLC um, was even announced so uh, I, I worked ahead um, because yeah I, I did have a suspicion there was a DLC coming up and I would need my time to you know uh, build this so I, I already started working ahead on Borealis Zoo, so uh, to save some time for me to start working with the Aquatic DLC. I'm, I'm really excited to um, 
to start working with that you will see the very first episode on tuesday of course uh, not in borealis zoo but in velo zoo they we won't be adding any penguins or whatever to this uh, to this zoo i don't think they will fit into the stuff that we uh, we are going for it's more like a i don't know a, a big petting zoo maybe stuff like that and uh, just a christmas theme overall also about the planning of this zoo uh, and you might have seen it i i talked about it in a previous video we are hosting a competition a christmas theme competition and uh, i will pick my favorite from the submissions and that will be implemented into this zoo there will be more winners but one of the prizes you can win is being implemented into borealis zoo so you basically you can, you can build whatever you want but it has to be within eight times eight wall pieces if you're not sure about the size just let me know in the discord channel uh, there is a link down in the description if you haven't joined it yet uh, you can find all information about the competition you can find a link to the video uh, the video is also on my channel of course so if you haven't checked it out make sure you do um, i will explain everything what we will do what you can win and uh, basically the whole goal of this uh, of this competition um, but yeah, the, the, the one of the prizes is that will be uh, implemented into this zoo and you will see it in the final episode. So when a final episode, I mean the final cinematic episode of this uh, of this zoo. So the uh, the building you can see, I uh, just replaced all of the you know, Australia planks and I started off with this uh, with the structure. I'm creating the same shape as I did with the. Uh, with the building for the ice rink and that is a wooden shape that i already created in one of the very first episodes of uh Veluwe zoo actually for the grizzly bear habitat it's uh, it's really interesting it makes it look i don't know uh, from from nordic is that is that a word i don't know uh but but it fits perfectly and it makes this building look so much more interesting than the um uh, than the entrance building so I'm really happy with that i think we should implement this with the entrance building as well just let me know down in the comments what you think also if you have a good idea for another animal you would like to see in this zoo uh, let me know down in the comments the only thing i have in mind right now are the bison uh, so let me know what you think about that maybe you think yeah they shouldn't be there this animal should be there uh, no no polar bears lighter if you're watching this <laughs> But yeah, just let me know down in the comments. Uh, all the wooden beams all around the building. I'm really trying to put a little bit more detail into this. So most of the video will be again this building. But we will start on the habitat uh, very soon. Uh, I really love the habitat in the end. It's, um, it's not the usual wolf habitat you would see, of course. Um, because yeah, we are pretending they are dogs. But we, we are giving them some space to, uh, to jump around, to walk around. Um, yeah playing around that's that's basically it so again this building the, the function of it uh right now it already holds some staff buildings and the idea is that the sleighs would go inside after they have been used so you will have this big door where they can you know put the sleighs back into the building and um yeah that's basically it you will have your ticket stand on the left people will wait over here can watch the dogs before they can uh, take the sleigh ride so there's a whole backstory <laughs> behind this uh, behind this building um, I'm just trying to create some randomness as well I, I basically what I did I made some square boxes and call them habitats into this uh, in this zoo so I'm like the path towards this building it's a little bit crooked uh, the the fence is not completely straight some stuff that I, I wanted to implement into the zoo Other, otherwise it would have been you know too perfect everything was like perfectly straight and that was bothering me a bit i might change it again a little bit i just want this zoo to look perfect and uh, if i'm i'm not 100 percent happy with it then uh, yeah that's just, just gonna be changed that's uh, that's just the way it is uh implementing the gate over here um again the piece count on this building it's uh, it's huge but uh, yeah, we don't care about that there's only uh a few more episodes left and i really don't have any troubles with frame rate only when you start building around the entrance because of the fence that i created over there and the gift shop that will uh yeah that, that will destroy your frame rate for a bit if you try to place something down uh, but for now this zoo is really running perfectly you can see it in the final cinematics of course that uh, 
we don't have any problems with frame drops. So again, the randomness so up and down for the fans, uh, making sure the fans isn't connected perfectly, but we will uh, we will make it fit. Um, yeah, that's I think that looks much better. I don't know. Uh, again, ex experimenting for the new zoo. I don't want the new zoo to be square boxes all around because that was one of the mistakes that I made with Veluwe Zoo is uh, the entrance area there's like mostly square boxes and uh, although I, I love building it when I start building on some other um, how do you call it uh, areas in the zoo it really bothers me that we did it like that so I don't want to do uh, or want to make the same mistake twice so, uh, yeah these little uh, square uh, boxes um, these are the shelters for the dogs I really try to make it in a way they would actually be able to use it in the game they won't um, but if you look at the size of the animals and the size of this uh, shelter space they they should be able to uh, to uh, actually use this so um, so buckets on the left for the food for them drinks and what I saw on the pictures they would always give these names some dogs up oh, so the dogs some names nice and uh, they would put the name on this shelter space for them. I just woke up while I'm recording this, so I'm uh, I'm making some some mistakes. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm putting these boxes all around. I I, I really was looking for like a chain uh, link, something like that. They would uh, keep the dogs normally together with their shelter space. You know what I mean? Um, you know, hooked hooked up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we, we don't do that, of course. We just let the dogs run around and have fun. And uh, yeah, that's what this habitat is all about. But this, yeah, this is one of the... I don't think you've ever seen a uh, a wolf habitat like this. But it's not wolf, they are sleigh dogs. So that's why it looks a little bit different. But I really like the look of it. Um, maybe if you've ever been there, like a sleigh dog place or ever took a tour let me know if the, you would actually recognize this yes or no um, yeah let me know down in the comments of course we will uh, we will add some rocks some details some uh, some foliage in it to make it look a little bit more interesting in the end um, you will see some changes in the final cinematics I added some windows to the building I added a little bit more decoration all around it some props some uh, benches stuff like that I didn't record that because I thought I was finished and I went back into the zoo for recording some cinematics and I thought yeah, it looks a little bit empty and uh, I wanted to make it look a little bit more interesting so that's why I uh, made some changes and you will see it in the final cinematics of course so the uh, speed build will go on for a few more minutes then you will have the cinematics and uh, yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything new and i will speak to you guys in the next one goodbye